Start With Why, and Find Your Why by Simon Sinek. If you met Simon Sinek at a party and asked him what he does, he could say, I write books on leadership. Or he could say, everything I do is devoted to one idea, to inspire people to do what inspires them, so that together we can change the world for the better. I happen to write leadership books because that's a great way to inspire people. Feel the difference? When Sinek starts with why, with his mission, what he does feels more important. If you resonate with Sinek's why, you might be compelled to ask more about his books, maybe buy his books, and share his books with your friends. That's the power of starting with why. Great companies like Nike and Apple leverage the power of starting with why by starting their marketing campaigns and their sales experiences by telling you what they stand for, not what they're selling. In 2018, Nike released an ad with the face of quarterback and civil rights activist Colin Kaepernick and the caption, believe in something, even if it means sacrificing everything. No product, just Kaepernick's face and those words. The ad angered some people, and Nike's stock dipped the day after the ad was released. But over the next week, Nike's online sales jumped 25%. Nike made it clear what they believe and what they stand for, and those who believed what Nike believed went out and bought a whole bunch of Nike products. When you walk into an Apple store, you immediately get the sense that they stand for simplicity, beautiful design, and perfection. And that's not by accident. Apple wants you to resonate with what they believe and what they stand for before they tell you that their new iPad is $300 more than a similar tablet from another brand because they know if you resonate with what Apple stands for, then you probably won't care if the iPad costs more than other products. Great businesses like Apple and Nike speak to your emotions first. They start with why, not what. Great leaders do the same. In 1963, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. didn't stand up in front of 250,000 people and tell them that he had a 10-step plan to end race segregation in the South. No, he told them that he had a dream. He said, I dream of a world where little black boys and little black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and little white girls as sisters and brothers. Dr. King influenced people to join the civil rights movement because he led with an inspiring vision, not with instructions. He started with why, not what. Great businesses and great leaders know why they do what they do, and they make sure everyone else does too. Author Simon Sinek says, people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. So why do you do what you do? If you can answer that question, you'll not only inspire more people to buy your products and join your cause, you'll inspire yourself to get out of bed in the morning and push through difficult tasks. As Nietzsche once said, he who has a why to live can bear almost any how. In the book, Find Your Why, author Simon Sinek says, discovering your why is like panning for gold in the river of the past. The gold is there, lost in the debris of the river, hidden by rushing water. Only when you take the time to pan for significant moments of the past, retrieving them nugget by nugget, will they turn into treasure. As you search through the river of your past, your goal is to fill the following why statement. My why is to blank so that blank. The first blank is how you want to help people, your contribution. The second blank is the impact you want that to have. The co-author of Find Your Why, David Mead, says his why is to propel people forward so that they can make their mark on the world. Simon Sinek's why is to inspire people to do what inspires them so that, together, we can change the world for the better. To help you find your why and fill in your why statement, try the following two exercises. First, the friend exercise. Author Simon Sinek found his why by asking a close friend, why do you consider me a good friend? His friend started with typical friend responses, well, I can trust you, or you're fun to be around. But Sinek pushed back and encouraged him to go a bit deeper by asking, what is it that makes me a unique friend? After a few uncomfortable moments, his friend said something that gave him goosebumps. He said, when I talk to you, I feel inspired. When he heard that, he knew he was close to finding his why. He thought more about it and experimented with the wording until he came up with the statement, my why is to inspire people to do what inspires them so that together we can change the world. Once Sinek could articulate his why, every decision in his life was simple and obvious. If something didn't contribute to his why, he didn't do it. In fact, he shut down a successful marketing business and started writing Start With Why soon after finding his why. Now, if the friend exercise doesn't work for you, you might want to try what I call the impactful people exercise. Create a list of people who have helped you become the person you are today. 
Was there a relative, maybe a grandma or a grandpa, who gave you the confidence to be yourself when everyone else thought you were weird? Was there a middle school teacher who changed the way you see the world and your role in it? Was there a sports coach who helped you set a higher standard for yourself? When you come up with a list of people who have played a pivotal role in helping you become the person you are today, share stories about the people who've impacted you with a partner. Your partner's role is to ask you specific questions about how those people impacted you. And notice when you come alive, the goal is to discover an impact that was so profound, so life-changing, that you feel it's your mission to have that impact on others. When I did this exercise, I told my partner about a story from high school when I stuttered so badly during a class presentation that the teacher had to stop me halfway through. I felt pathetic, and whatever confidence I had vanished. But later that night, I saw an infomercial for Tony Robbins' personal power audio tapes. It looked cheesy, but I was desperate. I bought the audio tapes and listened to them on repeat. The more I listened to them, the more empowered I felt. It was his work that helped me see that I was capable of more than I thought. He taught me powerful mindsets and habits that ultimately helped me become the person I am today. After recalling the impact that Tony had on my life, I made it my mission to have a similar impact on other people's lives. That's why my why is to empower others so that they can do more than they thought was possible. After doing either exercise and filling in your why statement with words that inspire you and make you think, yes, this is me, this is who I am, let your why statement settle for a few days, like a cake needs to settle when you take it out of the oven. Then come back to it a few days later and see if it gives you the same level of inspiration. Repeat this process until you find your why. As Mark Twain once said, the two most important days in your life are the day you are born and the day you find out why. That was the core message that I gathered from Find Your Why and Start With Why by Simon Sinek.